you are unlikely to get a cluster sampling question where it purely asks you to carry out a cluster sample. In GCSE statistics, you're more likely to get a question where you get given a scenario and it says state which method would be useful in this scenario and the answer would be cluster sampling because cluster sampling is like quite complex in all the things you need to do but the definition of a couple of a cluster sample is when the population is divided into natural groups or clusters and these groups are chosen at random and every member of the group is sampled now what I mean by clusters or natural groups, I've got some. I've got a nice little um table giving you examples of clusters. You could have geographical clusters, educational clusters, organizational clusters, health related clusters, economic clusters, social clusters, etc. So, like examples are cities and towns within within a country. These are natural neighborhoods or districts. These are natural zip codes or postal code areas. Schools within a school district classes or grade levels within a school or year groups departments within a university as you can see these are types of natural groups so these would be examples of clusters that may be used in a question advantages of using cluster sampling is that it is cost efficient it is more cost efficient more cost effective than a simple random sample because you are only required to sample a subset of clusters rather than the entire population a disadvantage is it may not be suitable for all studies it's most useful when the population naturally divides into clusters when or when practical constraints require a clustered approach another advantage is that it is suitable for large populations but a disadvantage is there is potential bias i've written the word sf because sometimes you may need a um, sampling frame but unlike a simple random sample this sampling frame isn't going to be like a, a list of the population it's going to be a sampling frame of clusters so i'm not going to answer this question if you want me to go through it i can in another video but here if you were to get asked about a cluster sampling question purely by itself this, is, this may be how it could be asked this is not a past paper question this is just a question i've made up and as you can see it's quite poorly written because they don't tend to ask cluster sampling questions in a GCSE statistics exam on its own.